Good morning and welcome to this month's NSM member webinar. I am your moderator, Heidi Winkowski, and today we'll be discussing best practices from our member success team for using Sonosim. All attendees will be in listen-only mode and may ask our panelists questions during and after the session in real time through the chat. A recorded version of this webinar will be available right after our session. SonoSim's Member Success Manager, Courtney Rising, will be discussing real-life examples of how our members have integrated SonoSim. Afterwards, SonoSim's Member Success Associates, Brian Crowell and Lauren Barr, will talk through tips for using SonoSim and customer feedback that we've used to enhance the product. Let's get started. Hi everyone, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Courtney, and I help run the Member Success Department here at SonoSim. We have an entire team dedicated to helping customers integrate SonoSim to best meet their institution's needs. Today, you'll also hear from my colleagues Brian Kroll and Lauren Barr as we talk through tips for using SonoSim, real customer case studies, and how we are implementing your feedback to enhance the product. So as we get started, I want to make sure you have a full view into all the resources available to you to integrate SonoSim into your curriculum and program. I'm going to start by sharing my screen and going ahead and logging into Performance Tracker. So there's um, a key resource that I'd like to highlight for you all. Um, and the best way to get there is just to come to SonoSim.com and go ahead and click Log In in the top right corner here. You'll put in your credentials uh, that will give you access to our system. So if we go ahead and do that, you'll see you're brought to a main menu here with a couple of different options. Let's go ahead and click Performance Tracker. So you can see this is the best way to really have a full scope of what's happening uh, with your SonoSim learners. Uh, we've got student performance where you can track uh, their progress. We also have our Manage, manage Users section so you can add or remove users. And then we have our curriculum integration tools. And what I'd like to highlight here uh, in this section, which these are all things that you uh, that will hopefully provide value to you as you think about how to use SonoSim in your curriculum. But what I'd like to highlight is the industry recommendations for today. Okay, so essentially our team has uh, built out how SonoSim applies to these different segments. So you can choose the one that's most relevant to you. Uh, for the purposes of today, I'm going to choose medical schools. And you can see how our content, both our courses and our scanning cases, apply to the learning objectives, okay? These objectives in this particular case uh, were recommended uh, the National Ultrasound Curriculum for Medical Students, so that's what we mapped it to. And it will be different for all of these seg segments based on kind of the industry standards. Okay, but you can see this is a pretty robust document, um, and, and it's really going to give insight into uh, the places where SonoSim uh, can be used based on that learning objective, and then you can turn around and then apply that to your current curriculum. Okay, so this is always here as a resource for you. Um, you'll have access to all of these, and uh, they are available for download. Uh, you can share them with colleagues. You can print them out, uh, whatever you need. So wanted to share that with you as we go ahead and get started. I will stop sharing my screen, and um, at this point, uh, I'm going to go ahead and introduce my colleague, Lauren, who's going to go over just some tactical tips for SonoSim users. Hi, everyone. My name is Lauren, and I'm your Member Success Associate here at SonoSim. Thank you for joining us today as we review some key tips for using SonoSim. Our goal is to make sure you are set up for success and are empowered to use the ultrasound training solution to its maximum potential. While these tips are very simple, they are absolutely essential. We will review calibration, the importance of upgrades, and Wi-Fi quality. Let's start with calibration. Calibration is the process of making sure our probe sensors are communicating and mimicking our motions in real time on the Sono Simulator screen, giving us the ability to fan, rock, and rotate our probes as we scan real patient cases. We will calibrate our probes in the Sono Simulator by using the FUN method, placing the probe on a flat surface in front of you, make sure it is in an upright position, and make sure the notch indicator points to your left as you face the screen. We want to make sure that we have successfully calibrated our probes to give us optimal scanning each time we go into scan. Once you have successfully calibrated, 
you may scan on whatever surface you would like. In your welcome kits, you received a blue gel scan pad. While this scan pad is not required, any surface can be used to scan in the Sono Simulator. It does help learners new to SonoSim anchor the probe and helps users correlate SonoSim probe movements with the virtual probe movements on body models in the Sono Simulator. In addition, when using the gel pad, it should be oriented to mirror the position of the body on screen. Positioning the scan pad will help you anchor your scanning to the screen body you are scanning. Keep in mind, the scan pad does not have technology embedded that interacts with the probe, and therefore it's not required. Once you have calibrated your probe in the proper fun position, flat surface, upright, and notch indicator to your left, you are then free to scan on the surface of your choice. Blue gel scan pad, a hand, your leg, the table, the options are endless. And as always, remember to calibrate each time you open a new case. Let's talk about upgrades. There are two kinds of upgrades that happen that are incredibly important. First, the operating system upgrades issued by Apple or Microsoft for your Mac or PC are crucial for Sonosim to perform at its highest level. Be sure to download and install these regularly. Second, Sonosim software and content updates give you access to new features, improve probe performance and utility, resolve any bugs discovered, and allow you to receive the newest content released by our team. This can happen as often as every month. When prompted to run a Sonosim upgrade, you may click the Details button to see a detailed description of what the upgrade includes. Keep in mind that our upgrades often include new content. If you notice that you do not have content you think you should have, it may be time to upgrade. Both of these types of upgrades are necessary and we highly recommend keeping both on track. For our last tip today, we'd like to remind everyone of the importance of a reliable Wi-Fi connection. You can find our system requirements by visiting www.sonosim.com backslash support. A consistent and reliable Wi-Fi connection allows you to access the online courses and performance tracker anytime, anywhere. When Wi-Fi connections are unstable or very slow, key features such as Doppler and Findings videos will be unable to load properly in the Sono Simulator. Thank you, Lauren, for that great list of tips. Again, we can't emphasize enough how important those few key components are. Uh, they are really are critical to making sure you have a successful experience using Sonosim. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about a real customer experience that has been shared with our team recently. Okay, we have a customer who uses our protocol assignments pretty regularly and in a way we hadn't heard of before. So I thought I'd share it with you all here in case it sparks some inspiration for you. The students are split into cohorts of about 20 to 30 and the instructor assigns the group a specific protocol assignment from Sonos and Performance Tracker. The students have about a week to practice the assigned protocol. In this case, the instructor chose to have the students complete the cerebrovascular protocol. Okay, the students follow the instructions very closely and they familiarize themselves with the skills that the protocol is helping them build. They also practice saving images in the Sono simulator as instructed in the assignment. Then after about a week, the instructor requires the students to log in and complete the protocol one last time, this time for a grade. They are expected to complete the full protocol in 30 minutes or less. Okay, so this approach gives students the time and space to ask questions, whether it be of the instructor or their peers. They can take as much time as they need to truly hone their skills and ultimately develop the mindset needed to complete the protocol in a timely fashion when it really counts. The instructor can then log into Performance Tracker and check each student's individual progress, including the timestamp on the images saved to ensure the assignment was completed within those required 30 minutes. They can also provide key feedback on the image quality, those kinds of things. This method of assigning protocols provides a structured, straightforward way to keep the students on a steady learning path using Sonosim. We found this approach to be pretty fascinating, and we wanted to be sure and share it with you all today. Now, I'd like to introduce my colleague, Brian, who is going to discuss direct client feedback we've received from the Sonosim community, that's you, and how our team has used that feedback to implement changes to the product this year. 
Hey everybody, as Courtney mentioned, my name is Brian, and I'm here to walk you through some really exciting updates we've made this year, thanks not only to our product managers and development and content teams, but also you, our members, because the changes are based on the great feedback you've provided us. As the member success team, we're committed to ensuring you get the most value possible from your investment in Sonosyn. We're here to be your advocates for product enhancements and features that will help you meet your goals. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. And the first update I have for you today <clears throat> uh, is about the new modules we've added to our Sonosim course library here. Our teams are always working to deliver new, engaging, relevant, and desired content to help you be the best and most knowledgeable healthcare professional in your field. You'll see here at the very bottom that we have new MSK injection modules, including shoulder and ankle injections. Then if we scroll up just a bit, you'll see our TEE module, and then our newest course, the Pediatric Lung Sonography module. If your license doesn't include these modules and you'd like to have access to them, please feel free to reach out to your Sonosim Territory representative by emailing sales at sonosim.com. The second update I have for you, and let me switch tabs here, is a great key technical advancement. New users can now seamlessly download the Sonosim software via our new download link. No more flash drives to keep up with. We're very excited to offer this to all of our clients now and get our users spending less time installing and more time scanning real patient images. And for the final update, that will actually be back in our Sonosim course library. Let me scroll up here to show you the example. And what we have done here is officially release the Sonosim course library in 10 new languages with the help of AI-assisted machine translations. As you can see here, the languages include Arabic, Chinese, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, and Spanish. We know that many of you have learners who appreciate language support, so we're pleased to provide just one more way for Sonosim to be the easiest way to learn and teach ultrasound, even in another language. And as a reminder, your feedback is so appreciated as it genuinely impacts our priorities and goals as a company. And as you continue to use Sonosim, I invite you to share any thoughts, comments, or concerns with your territory rep or member success associate. We're happy to help. I hope you join us again in December for a year in review webinar as we continue to share ways to make Sonosim work for your program. Thank you. Thank you, Brian, for those great insights into how our team addresses valuable customer feedback. We want to thank you all for attending today. We'd like to remind you that we are here to make your Sonosim experience seamless and great. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to us as a team. You can find us at membersuccess at sonosim.com, and we'll be happy to help. Thank you again for t attending today's Member Success Webinar. We will be continuing to offer these more and more frequently to give you access to additional updates, tips, and tricks. Stay tuned for more information on our next webinar in December. Okay, so it seems like this might be a great time to take a quick poll. Uh, we just talked about those assignments, so we're curious if you all know where to find the Sonosim assignments. So just a straightforward yes or no will be really helpful for us. Thank you.